Hello everybody. Today is the day that I'm going to make the air fryer egg rolls and the air fryer jalapeno poppers. That will be dinner. So the only thing I'm doing different with the egg rolls is I'm adding chicken breast. And I almost forgot to take some out to thaw. I just took this out and I opened up the bag and I thought I would have, need to take out two pieces. But I found this great big giant piece in there. So that will be plenty because it's going to be cooked up and cut up very, very small and added into the mixture for the egg rolls. So that'll come out really good. That's the only change I'm making is adding the chicken. But the recipe says you can add chicken or pork or shrimp or whatever. So I know it'll be good, right? Yeah. Are you looking forward to it? Sure. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not dinner time yet. It'll be a while, but yeah. I think that what's going to take the longest is making the mixture, mixing it all together. I know they don't have to go in the air fryer for very long, yeah. and I have to make the, the jalapeno poppers too, which is another mixture, and it says you have to boil the jalapenos first, which I suppose that is to take, I mean, not only to cook them first, but to take some of the bite out, because have you ever bitten into a, a completely raw, fresh jalapeno? It's have, a you, have you ever <laughs> taken a crap? Oh, whatever. It's a horrible, painful experience when you try to eat a raw jalapeno. So I think that'll make it so we can stand to eat them. They'll be too yeah. hot if we don't do that. Everybody loves to cook fire. Yeah, we might end up anyway. <laughs> but we're going to save all the seeds so that we can plant our own jalapenos for the, in the garden. Yeah, that's well, definitely one kind of seed we don't get. So. Yeah. Plus, you're not supposed to eat the seeds anyway, because that's where all where the, most of the heat is. Yeah, there's a lot of heat just from the seeds alone. So. Yeah. Here's a room full of kitties. White Storm and Smokey and Spotted Leaf and Gizzard. A Gizzard. You looking out there? It's still cold out. You still don't want to go out there. And Kylo. Oh. He's telling you that the food bowl needs, food thingy needs to be shaken. Uh, <coughs> no, they just, just emptied it. Oh, well anyway, that food dispenser thing, the food is supposed to fall down out of the container and it never does. So we have to keep going up to it after they empty the bowl and shaking it by hand to make the food come out. We need a different one of those things because that one doesn't work like it's supposed to. So today it is snowing really good out. And I mean, it could be snowing worse, but it's definitely coming down. I don't know how long it's supposed to last. I have the news on to listen to the local weather and find out, but we could get a few more inches. We'll find out. So I'm working on the two recipes. I decided to print them because trying to jump between both of them on my phone back and forth would be a real pain. But all this is going on and it has turned out to be pretty difficult to keep straight what I'm doing, doing two recipes at once. But that's fine, whatever. They'll be really good in the end. Okay, these are almost ready to go in. I tried to do this part and I couldn't fold them right and I was stuffing too much into them. So Don came to the rescue, thankfully. Yeah. And this is extra virgin olive oil spray that we spray them with at the end so they'll crisp up real good in the air fryer. This is probably the last one, right? Yeah, very last one right here. All right, and then spread them out a little more and then we'll put them in the air fryer. And then next is to bread these and then they'll be going in when the egg rolls are done. Both of them take about eight minutes. So it should be all right. But I did taste the filling for this and it was really salty. And it told me to put more salt in here, so I'm not so sure on this. But I do know that if I make them again, I will not be using in the kosher salt or any salt at all. Because there was one bite of the filling left that we couldn't get stuffed into the peppers. And man, was that salty. So, I don't know, these might be wrecked, but I hope not. Okay, the first batch is in there. Or not the first batch, but the first course, the egg rolls. And the heating elements will turn on again in a second. Yeah, right now. Because it, they turn on and off to regulate the heat. 
but it is 375 for eight minutes. So we'll see how they come out. And then after that, the jalapeno poppers have to go in. But we can't just hurry up and bite into these egg rolls immediately anyway because they're going to be really hot. So they can be cooling some while we cook the jalapeno poppers. Okay, what they called for in our air fryer was not good. They are definitely not done. So I change it to 425 for another 10 minutes and I'll keep an eye on them. But we have a different kind of air fryer than most people. We don't have one of those bucket thingies. So it's a little different. So knowing that, I'm not going to follow the time and temperature for the for the jalapeno poppers either because I'm sure that's not going to be correct either so it'll be uh, it'll be better this way so yes definitely with this kind of air fryer it needs to be 425 for 10 minutes or maybe a little less if you don't like them so crunchy but they definitely came out really good I'm sure they will taste good and now it's time to get the jalapeno poppers breaded and put in there and there, I cut one open so you guys can see the inside. Now the jalapeno poppers are in there. And the last step bef after breading them was to spray them all over with the, the olive oil spray so they brown a little better. That was the same thing I had to do with the air fryer deep fried mushrooms I made a few months ago. So we'll see how these come out. I started them at 425 for 12 minutes. So we'll see. And there they are, all done. Hopefully they're not too salty, but they did come get done in the first time through. And this is lime flavored sour cream that I made for the recipe. It was part of the recipe. And that's sweet and sour sauce, but it's just from the store. So there we go. And now it's time to eat it and find out if it's good. And we'll let you know when dinner is over. So the final thing is that they were very good. The air fryer egg rolls and the jalapeno poppers. Really, really good. So we will make that again. We have enough ingredients left to make plenty more egg rolls. So not tonight or anything. And the jalapeno poppers were good too. And the filling was not salty when it was all done with. So I, there was a bite left in the bowl that wouldn't fit in the jalapenos so I just ate it and it was really salty but I guess it wasn't meant to be eaten that way because once everything was done nothing was salty so the recipe is fine and I will be putting links to both those recipes in the description if you're interested and we just finished our live stream and that went good otherwise I guess that's pretty much it Smokey's over there sleeping and I think the rest of the cats are in bed in the bedroom because Spotted Leaf kept the, attacking my laptop during the live stream and we had to put her in the bedroom. Come here kitties! 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 Yeah, there we go. I'm not sure if you've been in the video yet. Kitties! There you go. Time to say goodnight. There goes Spotted Leaf around the chair, and Kylo is somewhere. So say goodnight, kitties. And Don is going to bring in firewood, and I'm going to finish this video. So we're going to go ahead and say goodnight, and we hope you enjoyed the video, and that you like, subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night. Say goodnight. Say good morning. Yep, goodnight, Kylo. <laughs> and we'll see you next time.